Hey guys, what's up? Bees from Bees Toys here coming at you. Go ahead and like and subscribe to the video if you want to get notifications of my reviews. Here we go, Masterverse, Master Universe, uh, Masters of the Universe, Masterverse, Spike Over from Revelation. So I believe this is Wave 1, just did a Man at Arms. It's also in the Wave. I'm trying to do all the Wave 1 figures, I guess, or I believe what I believe to be Wave 1. It's just grouping right down here at the bottom. But uh, we have a Spike Over. He does show up, I believe, in the first episode, even though he's kind of a, uh, in a disguise, so to speak. I believe it's Skeletor in disguise. And we have our 89 Batman script that I like to call it. Spike or Untouchable Master of Evil Combat. So here we go. Uh, this is a good looking Spike or actually, without even opening. I know, you know, if you are if you were one that liked the original, uh, this one's pretty good looking. And, and, for, for the new upgrade, it's pretty true to form, is what I would call it. Um, it comes with one extra set of fists, and he does have, the cool part is, and I think the Origins has the same option, is you can change his hand out and turn it into this thing here, like the original. Just so, just so you know, comes with the original Spike Mace. Spiked mace that you get, the, the orange spiked mace that you get. So that's, that's very cool. I always hate trying to pull these out with this plastic parts that hold them in. So I really like to cut them when I can. But I don't like, I don't want to cut my figure. Scratch my figure out. Kind of, kind of a pain, and it's loud. I like the loud. Alright, well, there's that. So, plastic in that box over there. Um, oh boy. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, so I knocked this fist off. So, I was in the his isn't terrible, but I noticed, and I've said this in a couple videos I've already done, I haven't done a ton of these yet, but some of the, uh, some of the feet are super, super loose when you turn them. His isn't bad. The one I just did before the man at arms, if you didn't watch it, you'll have to go back and watch it, but it's super, super, uh, super loose. And so was another one I did the other day. Anyway, so here he is. And again, he's a lot like your original um, with, you know, obviously new modifications to look uh, a little different, but uh, he's pretty cool. Nonetheless, if you, like I said, if you liked Spike Orphan from the original. Um, so he comes with two extra fists. You want to punch someone's lights out. Uh, we can we can put this and what we can do the cool part is you can put it put this in whichever hand you want So I think in the origins the original his goes on his right hand Or the original excuse me because the origins I believe can be actually you can put that I think you can I think he comes with an extra hand you can put it in whichever hand you want as well So you can put this thing on and Then we can put this thing on and we've got a pretty nasty baddie truthfully so we'll have three extra hands when you come to the thinking about it there it's because you can do it you can do it like this so we'll straighten his legs out a little bit so we can stand him up upright and there you go guys there's your spike or uh Oh, well, I say that, and I get ready to knock him over. Yeah, well, here we go. Sorry, I should hold him up closer to the camera. So really cool. Like I said, if you're if you're a fan of the origins, the original version, he's very much so like that. So that's a that's a good thing. Like I said, with a modern flair and a and a tall taller figure. Uh, it says Spike or Untouchable Master of Evil Combat. Of all of Skeletor's henchmen, none is more dangerous in close quarters and combat than Spike or. The evil blacksmith with enchanted razor-sharp spiked armor fused to his body forges weapons for the ruthless overlord. Never knew that he was his blacksmith. 
guess I should have figured that out with all the spikes and stuff. Hailing from his secret stronghold hidden in the mountains, Spikor fights by his master's side whenever he is beckoned. So there you go. There's your thing. Like I said, good good artwork. I love the artwork on these two. These are really good. I really should probably stash these. I should probably quit putting them up. And I should probably make a shelf and just stash these with the artwork facing out. Because truthfully, it is they are that is really good artwork. I'm I like the side artwork on, on Joe's, on my black series. I will say Black Series doing that probably set the tone, but it's been awesome with G.I. Joe, and these are really good, too. So, anyway, so there you go, guys. There's not really a ton to show off here. Like I said, you chain, change your hands out. You give him the weapon. Like I said, it comes with the only thing he really comes with the extra is one set of fists. Um, I, of course, can switch that. You can switch the hand out and put the spikes on, and then he's got a hand to hold his weapon, so... That's pretty much it. But like I said, good looking figure. Like I said, good, good, good look to look kind of similar to the original with the new flare. So very cool. And if you haven't had watched the show, I keep saying go watch it. Um, I, I, I'm in groups and I read a little bit here and there when I can off and on throughout the day. Or I'll, you know, take a minute and read some posts if I scroll by one. And, you know, I read some comments. I actually came across one today. I'll say this real quick. Talking about the Revelations and the Revolution series. And, so they the one I saw was pretty negative, but most of the time I read, everyone says they like the show, um, you know, and I think the biggest negative has been the, the lack of episodes, like they're short, they're not very long, um, but I will say I think they do a good job incorporating guys that you barely saw in the first, in the original, <clears throat> and uh, give them a chance to be on screen for a few minutes or a minute or two at a time, but at any rate, just saying, oh, Stinkor, Stinkor's the other one I had that was really loose foot, made me think of that, because I talked about that in the video, too, Stinkor got a minute or so on TV in his, in one episode, so, anyway, we'll go good with Stinkor, good, uh, good pairing, actually, I think they came out in the original line pretty close to each other, so, anyway, but, uh, but anyway, I highly suggest watching, if you haven't watched it, go check it out, it's a good series, it's on Netflix, if you don't have Netflix, find a friend that does, and go watch it at their house, but, uh, at any rate, uh, thanks for watching guys go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you can and uh, as always with Spike or I'm Beast from Beast Toys we'll see you